Hey, Coach Colin Castello with ShotMechanics.com, and today we're going to learn how Russell Westbrook gets his steals. All right, so before we get into it, a quick shout out to Floater Too Much on Snapchat for winning our unboxing jersey.ru giveaway last week. If you want to win a jersey this week, watch the end of the video for the details. Also, don't forget if you haven't, check out our top three favorite shooting secrets in the link in the description or the annotation up here. And don't forget to subscribe because we have four videos coming every week that you don't want to miss. Now let's break down Russell Westbrook. All right, so there's three main keys to Russell Westbrook's ability to steal the ball when he's playing on-ball defense. And the first key is pressure. Many times he lunges or jumps towards the ball handler to close the space a little bit quicker. Nine times out of ten, this will make the ball handler switch to their dominant hand and then try to put their body in between you and the ball. Westbrook knows this, so check it out. Before the ball handler even has the ball up behind their hip, he's already got his foot moving towards their back to take it from them. From here is the second most important key, and that's timing. You want to try to take the ball when it's at the top of its bounce, because that's where it's going to stall for just a moment. Then once you get a piece of it, you can grab it and take it the opposite direction. Now the last really important thing that you want to do is make sure that you don't foul or get called for a reach in. Now this can be kind of hard to do, so that's why the timing and pressure are so important to be able to pick somebody's pocket. Generally, if you can get to the ball without making contact with your shoulder, most of the time it's not going to be a foul. This deal on Mike Conley Jr. very well could have been a foul, but because he didn't make much shoulder contact, the refs decided not to call it. Now with that being said, you got to be careful because some refs just like calling reach in fouls. So remember the three main keys to getting the guy that you're trying to guard to cop up the ball. Number one, pressure. Number two, timing. And number three, you want to make sure that you can get to the ball without fouling. Those are kind of the three main keys. If you can do those, you'll get a lot more steal. All right, so for this week's giveaway with UnboxingJerseys.ru, we're going to do it again on Snapchat. So to be eligible to win, it's super simple. All you have to do is go to Snapchat and add me, Shop Mechanics, all one word. I'm going to pick from my list of contacts a winner for next week. And send me a snap while you're on there. I love seeing what you guys got going. All right, tune in tomorrow for our Kyle Korver NBA shooting secrets. Flash on. Ooh, ooh.